Assalamu alaikum, sister. As I understand your question, you met a boy some time ago, and he lives about three hours from you. Um, at one point, you were together for six months, and three weeks ago, you were together for five days. And in the beginning, you know, he wasn't um, real religious, and he wasn't really following Islam. Uh, he didn't pray, but you did help him, and you encouraged him in Islam, alhamdulillah. May Allah reward you, sister. And he's been praying since then, and his Islam has gotten stronger, and his relationship with Allah has gotten stronger. And that is such a blessing, sister. Truly it is. And as a result, you know, he's made the right choice. He doesn't want to be in a haram relationship. And as a young Muslim yourself, I'm sure you can understand that. And I know it's scary and I know it hurts. However, you have to look at it like in, like in the short term and the long term. And you have to look at it for the afterlife, right? Like he has made the best decision because he's doing what Allah wants him to do and is preventing the both of you from doing haram behaviors and is, per, is preserving both of you for the day that you do get married, inshallah. So instead of being sad, you should be very happy, very, very happy that he has turned into the young man that he has because he has Allah's favor for doing this. I understand you miss him. I understand it hurts. But when it starts hurting really bad, sister, and, and you miss him and you're feeling bad, think of Allah, right? Think about how happy Allah is that he has chosen Allah over sin, right? That he has chosen to strengthen his relationship with Allah and do the right thing. And that in itself should make you happy. Additionally, you know, I mean, Allah controls everything. Allah chooses, you know, who he, who he does. But you helped him and encouraged him to become a better Muslim. And that is a big blessing for you as well. And that is something to be really happy about. So, sister, I want you to look at the situation again. And just look at it, like, in, in the grand scheme of things, right? You know, we all strive to please Allah. We all want to become better Muslims and when it happens it should be a time for for rejoicing and to, and to continue moving forward to getting closer to Allah and, and being better Muslims right and with that said you know when you when you pray to Allah when you make dua you know don't don't always pray to meet him again and this and that but just thank Allah for his mercy and thank Allah for the blessings that he's given both of you you know and thank Allah, you know, for, for everything. Because, sister, you both have been so blessed, you know, to change your paths to one that is halal, that it's, you know, compared to any hurt or pain that people feel when they can't see each other, be with each other, you know, it's not really measurable, you know. So, inshallah, think about that and know that, this right know this one thing if a law closes a door nobody can open it right you can't open it and if a law has something for you nobody can keep it from you so if this boy is truly for you nobody's going to be able to keep it from you you'll meet him again things will work out you know so i encourage you to focus on your relationship with the law right now read quran Get involved with sisters and do some fun social activities. You know, study Islam more. Um, find some interest and some hobbies. And put your trust in a law that if this is meant to be, you most definitely will cross paths again. And inshallah, you will. But perhaps this is a test for you. This is a test and a trial to see, you know, what are you going to do? You know, are you going to go, are you going to get closer to Allah and trust in Allah? Or are you going to pull away 
and be upset all the time and hurt all the time and and you know not really knowing what to do and not believing in the future or not really believing in a law um, so this could be a test for you so inshallah you will you will you know grow closer to a law and realize that yes if this boy is for you you will meet him again and if he's not you won't and if, if this is the case that's because you know a law has ordained it that way because a law knows that you know it's not the best thing for you or for him and a law knows best and in the law we trust so sister I, I wish you the best um, and again please focus on you know your own hobbies your own things school work um, being with your your sisters um, praying drawing closer to a law and um, increasing your spirituality as well. We wish you the best.